Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. All right, guys, so I got another new tool for you today that I want to share with you guys. Um, now, I was uh, working on my lawnmower the other day, and I uh, broke the pull cord on it. So I ordered a new pull cord off the, uh, off the internet, but the uh, the end of it, it, it just came with a, a straight a straight edge here. So I had to re-bend this edge. And so to do that, I was using my vise and I was using some locking pliers or needle nose locking pliers seemed to be the work the best. So I was using a pair that uh, older pair that I have and the tips are kind of loose and wobbly. So I kind of wanted to go ahead and try and maybe get a different kind of different brand just to see, uh, just to see what they are, uh, how they work out. I was looking online for, uh, the Eagle pliers, the locking pliers, but I could only find the regular locking pliers. I couldn't find no needle nose. Um, that's what I'm really looking for, but I still haven't been able to find them yet. So I said, let me go ahead and try these Irwin Vice Grip and, uh, just give these a try. Um, but okay guys, so let's go ahead and get into this. All right. So these are, uh, nine inch locking pliers and we'll just go ahead and we'll just take a measurement on it here. Uh, now this is saying eight and a half, but I get maybe with this thing all the way open. It goes up to nine inches. Okay, you got the uh, vice grip name on this as well. Uh, now this is made in China. They used to be made in the United uh, U.S., United States, wherever you want to call it. But uh, like I said, they're not made there no more. Uh, so you got that. These are the quick release ones, and they have this uh, nice rubber uh, handle here on this here to help pop it open and close. It works pretty good. Uh, and then also on the uh, tip of them here, I noticed that these. They don't actually line straight up. You actually have to move them a little bit. So there is a little bit of, tiny bit of play here in the bottom of the jaw. And I also was co trying to compare these to the Bremen from uh, Harbor Freight, which they, uh, as you can see, they look very much alike. But the Bremen are made in Taiwan. But these, it doesn't say chromoly on them. So I don't know what, if they're made of chromoly or not. It doesn't really say. Uh, they are the uh, three single rivets here, and as you can see, the rivets are in a slightly smaller, uh, slightly different position. But does uh, this one has the? Uh, I think the arm is a little bit different design on here. Yeah, as you can see the arm right here. This piece here, on the Bremen, it's it's a little bit slighter difference. This one does not more pronounced like this one here. So the, they do are, are of a little bit different uh, design to them. Even the uh, the spring inside of them spring looks like it's um you know the spring looks a little bit odd as well on the ends of them also the bremen have where you would put a quarter inch drive on them and the vice grip uh they would have where you would put a it says uh four millimeter hex key so this would take a four millimeter hex key in there and also the uh the thickness, the gnarling of the handle also, as you can see, is a lot thinner on the uh, vice grip than the Bremen. But just by uh, feel on them, the uh, the vice grip one, the gnarling is actually more, has more bite to it than the Bremen, even though it's smaller. Uh, again, they are both fine uh, coarse thread screws going through the middle here. And then also we'll just take a quick look at the uh, teeth here on them as well. They do have a little bit of cross hatching at the very, very top of them. And then as you get back to the uh, finer teeth, to the more coarse teeth, and then the cutting edge on them as well. The Bremen, as you can see, the cross hatching on them, but the cross hatching on the vice grip actually looks a little, uh, just by feel, they feel, uh, actually they feel about the same. Uh, comparing them to the Bremen, they're, the Bremen actually, uh, the gnarling actually goes back a little bit deeper on them. The uh, same with the uh, teeth. They're pretty, the teeth down here are pretty much in the same spot as well. So you got the gnarling at the top here for them. Goes back a little bit deeper and then you flip it over and look at the other side as well. And as you can see, the gnarling on the tip of those, the Bremen actually go back uh, three or four more teeth as well. So that's another difference and then here on the cutting edge here the uh, Bremen as you can see the cutting edge here you could probably got about a you know 
quarter inch or whatever, and you got a little bit more, maybe three six three, three sixteenths here. You got a little bit more of a cutting edge here on the Ir Irwin. So we're gonna go ahead. I got a piece of a uh, piece of wire here. We're gonna go ahead and try this cutter here and see. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and try the cutter on the Irwin just to see if it'll cut cut through this piece of wire here. Test this wire cutter out. Uh, there you go. Um, there's the cut right there. Kind of smushed it off, but I, only, I cut it at the very, very tip. And as you can see, it, it did work. It did cut. So these cutters actually do work. Um, as far as feeling the cutters with my finger, it does feel pretty sharp. So these cutters on this one are pretty sharp. They do work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give these a pass as far as the cutters go. Uh, we'll go ahead and find something we can uh, lock down onto All right, it. All guys, so I don't really uh, know what kind of test we're going to do here. I got this bolt right here. We're just going to clamp it here on the end of it just to see how the cross hatching and everything is on these uh, teeth here. I don't have it set up super duper tight. Now I can put it on there, crank it. Right there is pretty, right there is pretty loose. And it does have a little bit of wobble. So uh, I mean, I'm going to just crank it a little bit tighter. Crank it back down, and there you go. In there, it's pretty firm. Let me crank down on this thing pretty hard, and we'll squeeze it and see if we can deform these uh, teeth a little bit here. So this here, I, I just set it in there. It's pretty tight, and uh, we'll just give it a little wiggle, but it's in there really tight. Uh, pop it back open. Take a look at the teeth in there. That didn't deform it right there as far as clamping it down on something extremely tight it didn't uh strip it out but maybe if you had something and you were actually able to spin it spin it inside there maybe that would deform the teeth let's try it a little bit tighter here uh taking a look at it here now i haven't tried to align these up but they're pretty uh pretty close to being straight up on there when i'm clamping down on this so we'll go ahead and pop it off again and take another look at these teeth and that one looks okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know, I, I, between the two, um, you know, I can't really say which one's better. Like I said, you do see a little bit of a difference between them here. On the tops of these here, you can see the, uh, it's uh, kind of got a nice little bevel to it where they were, were grinding it. And as you can see here on the uh, vice grip, it's not really fine down. I can see, you really see it tell here on the side because it's got this nice sharp edge on it here. And as you can see, the these Brahmin, they all have a nice uh, chamfered edge around the edge. Even the uh, sides of the Brahmin have a little bit of uh, the machine marks on them as well. Uh, but this is a little bit cleaner on the sides of these. So, like I said, uh, these aren't terribly expensive. Um, I'll put a little picture in the link i got these like i said these i got these at lowe's but uh, like i said they weren't super expensive but it was just another pair of uh locking pliers that i wanted to try you know just they're a little bit different from the of the brain but not much but uh that's it guys i wanted to share that with you i hope this uh if you're looking for a pair of needle nose pliers uh you know you got two cheap solutions right here for you that are halfway decent uh, compared to what some of the other ones are. I may even go ahead and buy the Milwaukee ones and just, um, compare the Milwaukee ones to, uh, to these as well. But that's it, guys. I just want to say thank you, God bless, and have a great evening.